Today I'm going to be showing you my solution of bypassing the factory reset protection on Android devices. Specifically speaking, we're going to be using the Samsung Galaxy S7 and this video should work on pretty much any Samsung Galaxies starting from Marshmallow. Yeah, just as a quick disclaimer, I absolutely do not condone anyone who stole the device. This video is specifically for those who own the device and are having issues with FRP. Anyway, the first thing that you should actually do is hard reset the device again before you continue my tutorial. It's very simple to do. You hold the volume up button with the power and home button as well. And then it should launch the hard reset tool. And all you have to do is move on down using the volume up and down button and locate where it says wipe data or factory reset. Then you want to just select that and pretty much just clear off the phone and start again. So yeah, now I'll move on to my PC where we can continue on this tutorial. So yeah, without further ado, the first thing you need to do is uh, go to this link right here. So this is linking you to my website. So we go to the browser, paste it in head on over to my website now it'll bring you to this page here we'll move on in to universal for Samsung and it should bring you to this blog here so we hit that and I'm just gonna change this to list view because it's easier first thing you need to do is download real term and download Samsung USB driver for mobile phones now the USB driver is optional not mandatory so once the two zip folders have been downloaded you should have this here real term and the USB driver and zip so we'll just highlight the two of them and I recommend you extract them to your uh, desktop so I'm gonna extract here so open the two of them up so we'll go with real term first right click run as administrator hit next now I have all this installed and um, but I still can install it anyway I would just uncheck these two they're not necessary at all so hit finish now you can close this and once that's done you should have this here so this is the real term application and now we'll continue with the Samsung USB driver so hit run as administrator now as you can see I already have it installed I'll just go yes so I can show you guys what it looks like with the setup so you'll hit next select your country I'm just leaving that as the default hit next and then you hit install let's just assume when I hit cancel it's installing so we now need to head over to our device assuming we've just turned on the device you need to connect to Wi-Fi make sure you're connected then hit next agree once you get this message and you have all the previous setup done on your computer what you need to do now is connect the device via USB once that's connected we'll head back over to the PC now you can press the Windows key and the letter R to open this up or you can just type in run in the search just above the Windows icon now you need to type in devmgmt.msc so this will open up your device manager now what you need to do is locate where it says modems expand it and you should see Samsung mobile USB modem then right click on it hit properties go to modem and this is what we're looking for the communication port number so we'll just hit cancel close this down we now know the port number is number three so we'll open real term right click I always just open as administrator it's just easier so what we need to do is go to port now we need to switch it from whatever number it is now to the communication uh, to the communication port number we just found so three ignore any other message just leave it as the number that you found don't write com just the number then move over to miscellaneous and then what you need to do is hit setup now these three right here cts dcd dsr they should be highlighted so now we'll open real term folder again push this over now you need this text document open that up now you copy this 
and you head over to send you can control V paste it in there and hit send ASCII now you should get OK and then you need to copy the next one and paste it the exact same way remove this one paste a new one you can see it's the same here now when you hit send ASCII this is gonna call your phone if it doesn't call your phone and it says error all you have to do is close this and reopen it and start again so I'm just gonna hit send ASCII on this number and then we'll quickly switch over to the phone so we can see what we need to do so send ASCII so we got OK so as you can see now the triple four is calling if you don't press hang up it'll automatically hang up for you but once you do hang up you should do it yourself now you have a few seconds otherwise this will time out to pick an option see it brings you back to the FRP page now there's two options you can go with there you can either choose messages or create a contact so I'm gonna ring again and I'm gonna show you the first option which is choose message it's ringing again hang up message so we'll just go to more add to contact but some people do have a problem where message doesn't show up so if you don't have message then you can choose contact so what we need to do is hit create contact you can write a name then you need to move down you can minimize this you need to go to more and this is the input that's important so web address you can type in well you should and you have to for the rest of this to work you need to type in kingsley dot tech forward slash f r p so i'm just going to copy that because i want to show you the other way now if i save this that's fine but i'm going to go cancel and then i'm going to go back to the f r p page and then i'm going to call again on the computer hang up and this time choose create contact see i can now have the same page again and then i can input the same value now the bad thing about this is when you paste it in and you hit save it brings you back to their frp page so this time when i call it says no name but i did save it so when i hang up see that's not available anymore but if i go message but then when i do save contacts via message this way i then go view contact see it doesn't bring me back to the frp page it would have brought me back to the messages then what you need to do is open that link it will open on the default browser this is a crappy browser it's not it's not good at all so what you need to do is hit more open in browser and then it gives you the option so you want to choose chrome yeah just accept you can hit no thanks and close the cookie on my page and then just scroll down and you want that universal and it brings you to here click on that google drive link i'm just going to go list view so as you can see now we have all the phone folders which is what you have to download run through number three the reason why number three is handy is because you go open in a new window and then you hit download so update permission allow and then just go open hit that go to settings and hit unknown source allow this installation hit ok hit install so hit open and then go to app switch this to system app look for settings so there's settings and then just hit open so we need to go down and find about device go down again software info and you need to know the Android version that you're on so now we can go back 
and we'll just go up hit Chrome open and we'll go back to the website back here then go back to the drive list view and now we'll go to number four now see this is why it's important because now we know that it's version 6.0 and above so marshmallow then hit the three dots open in a new window and download so this is downloading in the background it takes a while so just be patient there you go that will come up hit open hit that settings check unknown sources hit ok hit install so you see you can't open it because it's just a manager and just hit done so this brings you back to ES File Explorer. That's why it's so handy. We can then just go home again, go to apps again. So go to system apps again, go to Chrome, open, go to the tab, go here, go back, go back, refresh this page. list view and then finally number five which is the last one hit that hit three dots open a new window the steps are pretty much the same as before you can hit the top one or here actually i'm gonna go to the top this time and there you go open that sentence it's literally the same and this is why I like ES File Explorer because you can move this and go into ES File Explorer anytime. Hit install. And now we can open this. So once you're here, just go to the top right, browser, sign in, and OK. So now it's signing us in and then that's it we're signed in so we have all our apps and then all you have to do is restart the device so it goes back to square one this time the frp is going to be gone so now it's checking and there you go your first account is ready for use the frp is gone FRP is gone. So yeah, the device is all yours. And um, you can also clear off and factory reset the device without any issues whatsoever. Anyway, if you have any questions at all, please drop it in the comment section below. And of course, don't forget to leave a like and definitely subscribe for more future FRP videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>